microbiology question. I'm challenging what I am teaching you today. If you do First of all, a big shout out to one and only my mentor, the big superstar, Dr. Mehra sir, for the fantastic introduction. Uh, he is not only one of the favorite among the students, he is a legend. I must tell you, you already know he is a legend. He is my mentor and he is everything. You know, I see a fatherly figure in him and, you know, wherever I am today, it's because of him only. So, the complete credit goes to sir. So, first of all, thank you so much, sir, for your generous, for the generous introduction. And um, that's what, and sir's guidance has um, uh, ignited a flame within us that is propelling us towards the excellence. Okay. So with this words, I would like to start my session. Okay. So I am Dr. Priyanka Sudhavia and today I am here to complete my biology environment. Okay. So uh, how many of you think that my biology is a boring, mm -hmm. volatile, monotonous subject? I think majority of you. I think. And I know that. But I will ask the same question at the end of the day, in the evening. I think I will be able to change your perception in one day, maybe next nine hours. I will ask the same question. Okay, I will end my class by, I will try to end my class at 8, 8 or 8 o'clock or 8 30. So I want you to stay here till 8 because whatever question, whatever exam you are targeting at EPG or uh, NICG head, most of you are kind of starting for EPG. The complete microbiology question, I am challenging whatever I am teaching you today, it will be wrong. Okay, so in microbiology, today I will discuss 25 bacteria, 
is seen from the 20 parasites and nearly 20 viruses. Okay, because this is each and every organism here. I will not skip anything. Okay, I will cover all the key values of last few years here only. So you may be wondering how I am going to cover all this in just the next nine hours. But I will do so. It's challenging for me also, but I will do so. So how is the Josh? Can we start? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so with this start, let's start this microbiology session. Staining is necessary at all. Why? Does anyone know the answer? The answer is contrast. The problem is that the bacteria are transparent. And the slide is also transparent. Can human eyes see a transparent object in a transparent background? Say yes or no. No. Why? Because human eye need contrast to see anything. Okay. So because of the lack of contrast, because of lack of contrast, we have to do the stain preparation. What's the point? So we do staining. It's a question. It's a P by Q. Why we do staining of the bacteria? Answer is lack of contrast. Because the bacteria and slide both are transparent. We cannot see a transparent object on a transparent background. That's why we have to do the staining. So if we do the staining, we will be able to see the morphology of the bacteria. We will be able to see the size, shape, color of the bacteria. Can you see? Size, shape, color, everything of the bacteria we can see here. The morphology of the bacteria. What if we use the un unstained preparation only? We do not stain it and we use the unstained preparation only. What? So we will not be able to see the morphology because of lack of contrast. But if the bacteria is motile, we will be see that if something transparent is moving on a transparent background. If something transparent on a transparent background is static, we cannot see that. But if something moving thing is there on a transparent background, we use very hard view. We cannot see it if the jumper purpose is now. We use multi purpose. Multiple of color. What's the color here? So complete my so What is the challenging? What color I am teaching you today? Question I'm challenging whatever I'm teaching you today if you do not.